Hey, this is Chris from sequindesign.com. Um, or as you guys know, Adobe, uh, the whole Adobe CS5 collection just came out. Um, I'm really excited about it. I was able to uh, test it during the beta stage and you know now they made their final release so I just wanted to show you a couple things that I like about it. Um, we're going to start with Adobe Dreamweaver. Uh, that This is a CS4. Okay, I know I'm just going to show you the, some brief differences. Um, as you see, when CS4 opens up, uh, this is basically what you get here. Uh, nothing too fancy. Um, then if you open up Dreamweaver CS5, uh, you'll notice the new loading screen there. Sorry, my computer is extremely fast. Um, let me resize this for you so you can get the full effect here. So this is what uh, Dreamweaver CS5 looks like. The green bar right here is a little bit darker. Um, the icons are automatically colored. I don't know why CS4 had grayed out icons. I don't know why they did that, but they did. Uh, you have several options here, pretty much the same options. Um, they do have videos here, uh, different resources, the new features brings up a website the Adobe website tells you um, gives you a list of all the new features that are involved with uh, CS5 um, there's plenty of them so what we'll do is we'll start by opening up we'll do my website uh, as you can see already a big difference um, like I said the icons are in color um, you could enable this in CS4 but it's a default option in CS5 and you'll see this side to side view here now um, not sure if I like it yet um, I think that the reason they did this was because a lot of people have HD monitors I know I do um, mine's a full 1080p widescreen 23 inch monitor so they figured with the side to side you kind of get you know more bang for your buck on the screen screen size um, I was playing with it briefly one of the things that I did like was the live code feature it uh, basically allows you to view the source code um, live and when you enable this you'll notice all the coding here turns yellow um, the cool thing is is and, and I know probably some of you designers have had this problem is browsing through the code and trying to find out what goes where okay you, you know I know it sounds silly but it, it is an issue that I've had at least is when I'm trying to edit code is to find that you know make sure that what I'm editing is is actually what I'm editing uh, basically but with this live code feature you can click anywhere on your website and it'll it'll highlight for you the area of code that it pertains to so if I wanted to edit um, you know a couple paragraphs down the uh, affordable website design this title here uh, I would just click it and it, it highlights everything for me okay if I wanted to change some of these uh, text options here I, you know it's already highlighted for me um, this is basically my website uh, it follows you you know follows follows with you if I needed to change my email address phone number whatever it's it's all highlighted there uh, nice feature here is the title you can quickly change the title if you want um, So yeah, if you needed to change the title on your site, this is where you would do it. I'm going to turn off the live live code um, and the live live view option. When you hit live code, the live view automatically enables. If you take off live code, uh, live view is still on, which basically means you're looking at a live functional 
a live, fully functional version of your website, which uh, is very handy. It allows you to test all your coding right on the spot, um, you know, just as if you were viewing it through a web browser. Uh, another cool feature about Adobe CS5, and we've talked about this on the blog before, is in the browser preview button, you now have the option to preview in Adobe Browser Lab. If you do a search on our blog um, for Adobe Browser or uh, how to make your websites uh, compatible across different browsers, we did an article about this, and Adobe Browser Lab was in there. Well, now it's built right into Adobe CS5, and you can preview your um website in different browsers through Adobe Browser Lab. They have Internet Explorer 6, Internet Explorer 7, 8, uh, Safari, uh, a whole whole slew of different browsers. Um, so that's basically CS5, uh, the features that I like anyway. Uh, sure, you'll be seeing a lot more videos across the web of, you know, um, about CS5. Uh, keep on the lookout because uh, next we're going to do Photoshop CS5. All right. Thank you.